Good evening. This is Rahul Magan here as a group chief executive officer, treasury consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak, treasury consulting is a multinational headquartered group based out Singapore. We are a multi-asset and multinational hedge fund. By multi-asset, I mean we actively take positions in multiple asset classes, which includes gold, silver, platinum, palladium, agriculture commodities, base metals, foreign exchange, and many more asset classes. But like I repeated many a times, and I would continue to repeat in all of my videos, irrespective, we are a prop hedge fund. By prop, I mean to say no third party. I repeat, no third party can invest capital in our fund. Treasury Consulting and no subsidiary of Treasury Consulting is asking any form of investment by any third party. Depression has started and Treasury Consulting decided to cover depression in detail. So what we have decided that we would be covering depression two to three times per week. All the latest news, actions, corporate actions, and everything we would be covering two to three times in a week. As we speak, 9th November 2021, the internet is full of, as far as the depression is concerned, Meta, Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg finally came in public and clearly said that he would be laying off 11,000 employees which is near about 13% of the workforce, around 13% of the workforce. So 11,000 employees as we speak after Ford Motors is the largest layoff for this year, I can say, after Ford Motors, but Ford hasn't fired at that level. So Facebook 11,000 employees are going. Now, this 11,000 employees will be from US, probably other countries like Asia, probably Singapore. We have no information. Facebook will take a call and as soon as the information comes, we will definitely make a podcast on that. But having said that, one thing is really clear that 11,000 employees are living as far as the Facebook is concerned. Today, we also got a news that a startup basically backed up by Tiger Global. The name is the Plum Insurance. Plum Insurance is letting a part of the workforce to go. I repeat, Plum Insurance letting a part of the workforce to go. So as we speak and according to public information, I, you know, Plum Insurance is backed up by Tiger Global. And this is yet another startup who is, who came in the public domain, you know, that they are laying off their employees. Salesforce, a very well-known company in the world, basically CRM based company. And often you will see the advertisement of the Salesforce on Google and variety of platforms. Salesforce today said that they would be laying off around 2,500 employees. 2,500 employees, which to me is not a small amount. Probably for few people, it is a small amount, but for to me, it is definitely not a small amount. The most important thing is that, you know, the sales force, 
spend billions to acquire the companies like Slack and Tableau. Tableau is nothing but, I would say, a kind of gra a platform where you can represent your data, you know. So this is the three companies, uh, I would say, in the top, which are, as far as today, is concerned. As far as the startups are concerned, then I have already made a video about the EdTech. EdTech stands for Educational Technologies. EdTech Startup Practically, Practically is the name of the company. EdTech Startup Practically lays off employees citing cash concern. Baiju's, Vedantu, Unacademy and many more EdTech startups are laying off. Here comes one more, which is practically. As we speak, you know, the number of employees is basically laid off, is not very clear in the public domain. But it is said that around 190 employees, around 190 employees being fired by the company since August 2022. But as we speak, an exact number is not aware, so we cannot confirm the exact number. But one thing which, according to public information, we can confirm is that, you know, another EdTech startup is cutting the job. Now we have one more startup, which is called Bainly. Bainly is also an EdTech startup. And, and this time, Bainly laid off around 72% of the Indian team. Which means, if I go with the public information, Bainly is having around 35 employees in India. 35, near about, you can say. And out of 35 employees, they laid off 25 employees, which is approximately 72%. Of the employees asked to step down. Overall, 7,000 jobs being cut in the EdTech sector in 2022. 7,000 jobs being cut in the EdTech sector in 2022. And when I said this, uh, uh, you know, few months ago, then people were laughing and now the same EdTech model, you know, I would say is losing, losing and losing. Udan. You please go to Google and check yourself about the Udan, a loss making company. Basically, they are into an e-commerce space, you can say. According to the public information, Udan, this is the second round of layoff for Udan after they laid off 180 to 200 employees in June, which means in June this year, they laid off near about 180 to 200 employees. And company, you know, back then as well, the company has laid off around 700 to 800 off-roll employees. Off-roll means uh, not a permanent employees. In short, Udan, Udan fired 1,000 employees in the second round of layoffs. 1,000 employees in the second round of layoff. And they claim to be a billion dollar companies. They claim to be a company who owns valuation in billions and billions and billions of dollars. You know where the end result is. The very good thing which we need to understand, which we need to learn and which we need to see is that slowly and steadily the depression has started. Facebook, one of the largest, rather amongst most profitable IT companies in the world, which includes uh, Apple, Amazon, you know, Microsoft, Facebook. Amongst these top well-known IT companies, if they are cutting near about, I would say near about 11,000 jobs, which is 13% of the workforce, which means something big is going to get happen very soon. 
Now that big would be from, you know, Amazon side, would be from Apple side, probably Microsoft side. Microsoft has already cut few thousands of job according to public information between 1000 to 2000 is the figure which is floating on the internet which one is correct it's very very difficult to substantiate but having said that phase the microsoft also cuts the job guys this all is happening because of the central bank and federal reserve they hike the rate just like a mess just like the mess and end result you know what is happening thousands of job cuts are happening on a daily basis now it is daily basis and guys if this trend persists for another two months example god forbid i would say in this eventuality probably millions would lose their jobs unemployment would be outside the textbooks and God knows what would happen at this given point of time. This is what our coverage of the depression as of 9th November 2021. We would definitely be covering more after two to three days once we accumulate more data. But one thing is very clear. If these central banks would continue to rise the way they are rising, in this eventuality, a huge and a full-scale depression is on the cards. And I have no idea, no information how the world is going to be handling this. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rahul Magan from Tenshi Consulting Group. You knew my personal number, 9899242978. I repeat, 9899242978. If you, if you wish to know about more, you can refer our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global. I repeat, www.fixedincome.global. Have a great time ahead, guys. Thank you. Talk soon.